Hi, my name is Niyati and this is the assembly line to make a toy car. My operation is to assemble the wheels and for that I need to attach the hub to the tire and I take 5 seconds to make 2 wheels. Hi, I am Rucha. I assemble the axle to the wheels. It takes 10 seconds to assemble 2 wheels to 1 axle. Hi, I am Shubhangi. I am the operator 3. My work is to attach the steering wheels to the chassis and also to attach 2 axles to the chassis. Now attaching the steering wheel takes only 3 seconds but attaching these two axles takes 15 seconds. I am Amrisha. I am the fourth operator. My operation is to assemble the seats to the car. It takes me 12 seconds to complete my operation. Niyati. How many cars do you think we produce in an hour? I think it's a lot because we are all working so hard. I finish all my work in time and look at this WIP between Shubhangi and me. I can't really say but I think the supervisor may know. Oh look, he's here. Adwait, what do you think is our hourly output? Let me see. The bottleneck is 18 seconds. That means we must produce one car every 18 seconds. That means 200 cars per hour? Sir, our bottleneck is of 18 seconds. So can we eliminate this and is there any scope for improvement? Yes, we can improve this. Question 3, 18 seconds is your bottleneck. And the bottleneck process will control the maximum output you can make. And your maximum output you can make at a bottleneck of 18 seconds is 200 cars an hour. So the only way to increase the output is to reduce the 18 seconds down. This is the time observation chart. And the x-axis is for operation number and the y-axis is for the time taken per operation in seconds. The average time is 11.25 seconds. So, how can we improve this, sir? So, what should we do? So, we need to look at what is inside the bottleneck process. And we discover that two things that is happening inside the bottleneck process. One is assembling the steering to the chassis, which is taking three seconds. And there's a next operation that also the same operator does, is assembling the axle to the chassis that takes up 15 seconds. So therefore, there is an opportunity to take the three second operations and combine it with operator number four. So by taking the three seconds and combining it with operator number four, we can reduce the bottleneck operation from 18 seconds down to 15 seconds. So if you're able to do that, your output will immediately improve. So now I transfer 3 seconds of my work that is to attach the steering wheels to Amrisha. So now my cycle time is just 15 seconds. And since I have 3 seconds more work, my cycle times become 15 seconds as well. The two of us now control the whole process. Now the bottleneck is 15 seconds. And the output has increased to 240 cars. The output improvement is 20%. Excellent. That is a great improvement of 20%. This is the power of attacking the bottleneck. The bottleneck that was 18 seconds before have now become 15 seconds. And the time observation chart is now looking a little different than what it was before. You can see that. We are now at 15 seconds for operator 3 and 4 and we still have opportunity with operator 1 and 2 because operator 1 is 5 seconds, operator 2 is 10 seconds. So if we able to combine these two, that will come 15 seconds. So I did it. We have balanced the line by combining the two operations. Excellent. 
Now we have a very synchronized production line. And from here we can see that the productivity output per hour per operator have gone up from 50 to 80 cars per hour, which means our productivity have increased from 20% 20, from 20 to 60% by combining the operation one and two. Look what's happened. The output has increased by 20%. The productivity has gone up by 60% and the operator who was out of the picture are now promoted to supervisor for another department. Win, win, win. Everywhere win. Investment zero, which means cost down. All because we used the time observation chart. Please use it and get the gains.